Today we're going to be taking a look at some problem solving techniques used in physics. You've used problem solving techniques in every class that had to do with word problems or, or math or, or the like, but we're going to specifically touch on what we're going to talk about in physics. So here are the steps that we are going to use. The first thing you should do with any word problem, regardless of the subject, is read the whole problem. Um, if you just pick out bits and pieces, you're probably going to miss some important pieces of information. The next thing you should do is sketch the system, and that's actually a part of visualizing the physical process of what's actually happen happening that you're examining. Um, then we take a look at strategize. Well, that's a fancy word for saying identify your known and unknown variables. Once you've gotten that, you can identify the appropriate equation. What equation matches what you have and what you want? And then solve that equation for the variable that you're looking for, then plug and chug those numbers in. Once you've uh, solved your equations, you can check your answer. Do your units make sense? Do your numbers make sense? And then sometimes we will explore this, the limits in special cases, um, but not all the time. We're going to go ahead and apply that to a problem. A tortoise races by a rabbit walking with a constant speed of 2.51 centimeters per second for 52.23 seconds. How much distance does the tortoise cover? Well, we have a little bit of visualization given to us. We can see the, the tortoise um, walking past the hare, and we want to know how much distance does he cover. So we have this distance that we want to know. We're given his speed, and we're given the time is 52.23 seconds. So we have a couple of different pieces of information. Um, because we have our known and unknown variables, we're able to then go ahead and look at the equations we have. Um, so these are written for very general cases, um, but it's important to note that for distance, we can also look at the displacement. Um, in this particular case, they're going to be very similar. That displacement um, is, remember, the xf minus xi. That then brings us to be able to use this equation. So xf equals xi plus v xit. We move this over, um, move this one over to the other side, so we have xf minus xi is equal to v xit, or delta x is equal to v xit. So that's all for the variable that we want. We have um, our other piece of information we're able to now plug and chuck. So uh, we're plugging, and now when we chug, put those numbers into our calculator, we get 131.0973. Um, and what units are those? Well, if we have centimeters per second multiplied by seconds, we do get an answer in centimeters. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure we uh, a give an answer in sig figs. If this is three sig figs and this is four, we can only have three sig figs. So the distance that my tortoise covers is 131 centimeters in that time frame. Right? So that makes sense given the parameters. So just to review the steps of uh, solving physics problems, read it, sketch and visualize, identify your known and unknown variables, what equation matches that information, and then go ahead and rearrange your equation and plug and chuck. Make sure your answer makes sense and you're good to go.